हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू सो आई होप यू ऑल आर फिर एंड फाइन यस सर वी आर टोटली फाइन एंड एंजॉइंग द सीरीज प्लीज टेल मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स एंड इफ यू आर एंजॉइंग द सीरीज लाइक द वीडियोज एंड क्लिक द सब्सक्राइब बटन ऑल्सो सो दैट यू गेट ऑल द अपडेट्स एट द अर्लीस्ट वेन एवर अ वीडियो इज अपलोडेड यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन दैट येस द वीडियो इज अपलोडेड एंड वी हैव टू स्टडी नाउ ओके कमिंग टू द मेन टॉपिक सर वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ लेबर कॉस्टिंग एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द लास्ट लेक्चर फॉर लेबर कॉस्टिंग द टॉपिक वॉज लेबर टर्न ओवर रेशो वॉट इज लेबर टर्न ओवर रेशो चेंज इन लेबर फोर्स ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दैट in a particular period of time over a particular period of time how many people left a company how many people were replaced how many people were newly recruited so all these things so we discussed about the various terms that is number of separations how many people left the company number of replacements how many new people replaced the old people then number of new joinings right those who do not who have not replaced the old people but they are newly recruited number of accession is total joinings whether it is a replacement or it is a new joining then we discussed about the various methods of calculating the labor turnover separation method replacement method and the flux method and in the flux method we had two approaches approach 1 and approach 2 so all this we have discussed in the labor turnover ratio now what we are going to do in this lecture is we are going to do some practical problems okay let's see sir question number 15 from the following data provided to you find the labor turnover rate applying the flux method replacement and separation method number of workers on the payroll at the beginning of the month 500 at the end of month 600 during the month five workers left 20 persons were discharged that means five workers left on their own will and 20 persons were discharged by the company okay the five left on their own will and these 20 people were kicked by the company and 75 workers were recruited these are the total joinings out of these of these of these means out of these 75 workers who have joined 10 workers were reclu uh, recruited in the vacancies of those leaving right that means this 10 is what this is replacement these people have replaced the old persons who were working and while the rest were engaged for an expansion scheme that means in this case what is number of separations sir what is number of separations 5 plus 20 total 25 any doubts sir five people five workers left on their own and 20 were kicked by the company that means total people leaving the company is 25 right sir what is number of replacements total joining is 75 out of this 75 10 people were replaced 10 people who joined they replaced the old chairs right they were made to sit on old chairs that is 10 and number of new joinings number of new joinings is total 75 out of 75 10 is replacement so what is left is 65 that is number of new joinings any doubt right and why this data is given sir number of workers on payroll beginning and at the end to calculate average number of workers any doubts right sir so this is uh, from this data we have to calculate labor turnover using the flux method replacement method and separation method okay first we'll write the data now let's solve question number 15 right sir now first we'll calculate average number of workers what is the average number of workers we have we have opening workers that is 500 plus closing workers 600 divided by 2 that is 550 workers this is the average number of workers now can you tell me the number of separations what is the number of separations i just told you it is 5 who left on their own will plus 20 who were kicked by the company that is total 25 people left the company what is replacements number of replacements can you tell me sir it is 10 and number of new joinings what is the number of new joinings that is 
five total 75 joined out of the 75 10 is replacement 65 new recruitments right the combination of this two is called as accession now we have to calculate labor turnover by flux method right now see in the question there is nowhere specified that in the flux method which approach to follow you have two approaches in the flux method whether to follow approach one or approach two in case the question is silent you can do the question by both the approaches right but it will depend upon the data that is available to you clear if you have all the data available to you then you can apply both the approaches or apply that approach for which data is available in the question right now let's do it we'll do it by both the approaches because we have the data so first we'll do it by flux method okay in the flux method we'll be uh, doing it by both the approaches so i have approach one first approach one what is approach one says approach one says that the labor turnover is to be calculated by taking the number of separations plus taking uh, plus taking the number of replacements right divided by average number of workers multiplied by 100 right what is the number of separations 25 plus number of replacements 10 average workers 550 multiplied by 100 so this will come to 6.36 percent any doubt this is approach one under the flux method now can you tell me quickly tell me what is approach two under flux method what is approach two sir approach two says that the ltr can be calculated by taking sir separations separations plus what to take accessions accession is the total joinings whether replaced or whether new divided by average number of workers average number of workers multiplied by 100 right what is the number of separations 25 what is number of accessions 75 divided by average number of workers 550 multiplied by 100 so this comes to 18.18 percent clear any doubts up till this point this is by flux method and i have told you that if the question is silent as to which approach to follow you can do it by both the approaches if you are short of time do it by any one approach and most importantly analyze the data what data is available to you depending upon that you can apply the approach clear so this is by flux method now let's do it by replacement method now second second we'll do it by replacement method right now what is replacement method sir replacement method says simply says very easy number of replacements right divided by average number of workers multiplied by 100 what is the number of replacements that is 10 550 average number of workers multiplied by 100 this will come to 1.82 percent right so you need to be careful with one thing sir replacement and new joinings and accession right separation is easily you will find out the only confusion in the labor turnover is regarding the replacement new joinings and accessions right so i've told you replacement is making the new employees sit on the old chair new joining is making the new employees sit on new chairs okay so accession is the combination of these two employees replacement plus new joining is total known as accession okay so replacement uh, now the next method is next method i have is separation method next i have is separation method separation method again very simple number of separations number of separations divided by average number of uh, workers multiplied by 100 sir how many workers separated 
ट्वेंटी फाइव सर फाइव ऑन देयर ओन विल एंड ट्वेंटी किक्ड बाय द कंपनी डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव फिफ्टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड सो दिस विल कम टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव फोर परसेंट राइट सो दिस इज व्हाट द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वाज रिगार्डिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन दिस इज अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन आई होप एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर सर कैन दिस टाइप ऑफ अ क्वेश्चन कम इन द एग्जामिनेशन ये इट कैन कम फॉर फाइव मार्क्स राइट and i told you that uh, that this topic labor turnover can come for 5 to 8 marks normally 5 marks clear normally 5 marks at the max 8 marks any doubts let's move on to question number 16 the accountant of t limited has computed employee turnover rates for the quarter so he has calculated it for one quarter Ended thirty first March two thousand eighteen as ten percent, five percent, and three percent respectively under flux method, replacement method, and separation method. So he has calculated the employee turnover under the various methods: flux, replacement, and separation as ten, five, and three respectively. If the number of workers replaced during the quarter is thirty, number of workers replaced during the quarter. So he is saying. the number of workers replaced during the quarter is 30 find out the number of workers for the quarter recruited and joined recruited and joined and left and discharged then the equivalent employee turnover rates for the year we'll look into the third part later on first what is meant by this recruited and joined is he asking is he asking for replacement or is he asking for new joinings just try to answer this sir what is meant by recruited and joined whether he is asking for the replacements or whether he is asking for the new joinings sir recruited and joined means he is asking for the total number of people who were recruited and who joined whether those were replaced or whether those were new joinings i recruited that person and he joined the firm whether he is going to sit on the old chair or no chair makes no difference he has been recruited and he joined so that means he is asking to calculate us accessions right so in the first part we have to calculate what we have to calculate the number of accessions okay in the left part uh, in the second part sorry left and discharge that means very simply you have to calculate separations nothing else any doubts clear i'll come to the third part later on first uh, we'll do first and second part third part is nothing very easy okay come to question number 16 now let's do it question number 16 first we will write the basic data uh, now we are given the rates under the flux method under the flux method the rate is 10% right second thing under replacement method what is the rate under replacement method it is 5% right then under separation method what is the rate under separation method that is 3% and what else is given in the question the question says the number of people replaced during the quarter is 30 so what you are given you are given number of replacements what you are given is number of replacements right that is 30 now this is the data that is given to you and from this data what you have to calculate is accession and separations now for the flux method sir what is flux method flux method is separation plus accession divided by average now see in this method if we if we if you want to start the question with the flux method you, do you have the separations no sir do you have the accessions no sir do you have the average number of workers no sir you don't have any of the data can you start the question with this no sir coming to the separation method sir what is separation method that is separation divided by average number of workers do you have number of separations 
नो सर डू यू हैव एवरेज नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स नो सर कैन यू स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन विद दिस absolutely no because we don't have any data then how can uh, we start the question with this coming to the replacement what is replacement sir replacement divided by average right sir do you have number of replacements yes sir so that means we have to start the question with the data that is given to you so we'll start if you are given the number of replacements we'll start with the replacement method had you been given here the number of separations you would have started the question with number of separations okay so reading the data is very important now we are given number of replacements we are going to start it with the replacement method okay so how to start it so first i will say sir replacement method ltr under replacement method it says number of replacements number of replacements divided by average number of workers average number of workers multiplied by Hundred, right? So, what is the number of replacements? It is given as thirty. So, this replacement method LTR rate is given as zero point zero five. That is, this five percent LTR is given to you. What you don't have is the average number of workers. Average number of workers. Clear? From this data, now what you can calculate is average. number of average number of workers is equal to 30 divided by 0.05 that comes to 600 clear now coming back so now look at this separation method now you have the average number of workers you have separation rate now you can apply this formula yes sir right now we'll calculate what we are going to calculate separate we are going to use what we are going to use sir separation method separation method says simply number of separations number of separations divided by average number of workers multiplied by 100 okay what is uh, separation method rate that is 3% so 0.03 number of separations we have to calculate number of separations we have to calculate average number of workers we have just calculated this average number is going to be constant in all the methods okay 600 right i'll not write 100 here because i have taken 0.03 here okay so from here what i will get is number of separations number of separations that comes to 18 so what i have done is i have calculated the second part that is left and discharged right this is nothing but number of separations now i have to calculate accessions now i'll do what i'll use flux method now flux method says now flux method which approach to follow now that is important sir the requirement is the accession method so which approach will you follow just tell me if you want to require the uh, if you want to calculate the accessions which approach will you follow sir obviously we are going to follow approach number 2 that is why i always say the approach is dependent upon the data that is required or data that is given in the question so in this question because we are required to calculate accessions we are going to use approach number 2 approach number 2 says separations number of separations plus number of accessions divided by average number of workers multiplied by 100 now flux method is 0.10 number of separations we have just calculated as 18 plus accessions i'll write it as such because i have to calculate it divided by what is average number of workers 600 any doubts up till this point sir any doubt any doubt no sir 
right now you can solve this equation easily and you you will calculate these accessions it will come to 42 right take 600 and this side then subtract uh, 600 multiplied by 0 0.10 minus 18 will give you successions that is 42 clear that is first part is done now the third part says equivalent employee turnover rates for the year very simple sir these rates are given for one quarter 10 5 and 3 it is given for one quarter now if you want it want to calculate it for the year what will you do sir quarterly rate what will you do quarterly rate multiplied by 4 simple you will get the rates for the whole year <coughs> Any doubts? Clear, sir? So this is again important question. Okay. So whatever we'll be doing, we'll be doing quality questions. Don't worry about it. Okay. <clears throat> Coming to now coming to question number 17 again a very good question and this question has been asked in the examination it has already been asked in some of the examinations so it is a very 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 important question easy question nothing to worry about it okay <clears throat> let's read the question the management of br limited is worried about their increasing employee turnover in factory and before analyzing the causes and taking remedial steps, it wants to have an idea of the profit foregone as a result of employee turnover in the last year. Remember, uh, in the last lecture I taught you, I told you that what are the costs that are associated with the labor turnover and one was profit foregone. Okay, because if say 50 employees left the firm, obviously the production that was done by those 50 employees will suffer, right? And in that case, my profits will suffer, isn't it? Okay, last year sales amounted to 83,3300 and PV ratio was 20%. So what is meant by PV ratio? Uh, we'll do it in, the, in detail in the chapter of marginal costing, right? Here, just understand one thing. PV ratio means out of the sales of 83,3300, my profit is 20%. Right, my contribution is uh, say simply my profit is 20% of this 83,3300. This is the meaning of PV ratio, right? Okay, the total number of actual hours worked by the direct employee force was 4.45 lakhs, right? This is the total number of hours actually worked as a result of the delays by personnel department that is hr department in filling vacancies due to employee turnover one lakh potentially productive hours were lost that means sir some of my employees left right now the hr department was not able to fill those vacancies in time what happened one lakh potentially productive hours were lost what it means that for this for those one lakh hours we could have done the production right but we couldn't do it because the vacancies that were created were not filled so those one lakh hours we lost the production that is a loss straight away loss of one lakh hours which were potentially productive we could have worked during those one lakh hours we could have done the production we could have increased our sales we could have increased our profits but we could not because the vacancies were not filled the actual direct employee hours that is this 4.45 lakh hours included 30,000 hours attributable to training of new recruits he says that out of this this 4.5 uh, lakh hours that is given to you it includes 30,000 training hours out of which half of the hours were unproductive out of these 30,000 hours only 15,000 hours were productive and rest of the hours were only spent on training and there was no production during those 15,000 hours right so a little bit complicated We'll try to simplify it. Don't worry. The cost incurred consequent on employee turnover revealed on the analysis the following. These are the other costs that are uh, relevant. 
that were incurred because of employee turnover assuming that the potential production lost as a consequence of employee turnover could have been sold at the prevailing prices he says whatever we could have produced in these 1 lakh hours in these 1 lakh potentially productive hours if these were not wasted right if these 1 lakh hours were not wasted we could have produced extra and that we could have sold at the prevailing prices find out the profit foregone last year on account of employee turnover now this is a bit complicated question but 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 important let's try to solve it right so i hope uh, you are, all of you have this pdf file uh, uh, all those who want they can take it from my mobile app okay let's come to question number 17 question number 17 okay tell me total hours worked total hours worked so it is given as 4 lakh 45 thousand hours these are the actual hours worked but out of these out of these there were 15 thousand hours that were unproductive so i will say i will subtract unproductive hours 15 thousand sir which are these hours this 30,000 hours these are included in this 4.45 right but out of this 30,000 only 15,000 were productive and rest were unproductive so what we have to calculate is we have to calculate it the productive hours first that is during the number of hours during which the actual production was done so these are my productive hours any doubts up till this point total hours 4 lakh 40 thousand but these hours included 15 thousand unproductive hours during which there was no production so first we have calculated the productive hours okay now during this 4 lakh 30 thousand hours i have done the production i have sold that production and i have the sales value that means this sales value of 83 lakh 3300 is attributable to these 4 lakh 33000 uh, 4 lakh 30 thousand hours why sir the products which were sold and this amount earned that is 83 lakh 3300 this amount earned by selling some products those products were made in 4 lakh 30 thousand hours any doubt don't say sir 4 lakh 45 thousand hours because it included this 15 thousand unproductive hours so can you tell me sales okay first i'll write some explanation sales of 83 lakh 3300 is for 4 lakh 30 thousand hours right now can you tell me sales per productive hour sales per productive hour what is the sales value for one hour right this is for 4 lakh 30 thousand hours whatever we produced in that 4 lakh 30 thousand hours we sold it and this is the sales value that we have earned right so it is 83 lakh 3300 divided by 4 lakh 30 thousand this comes to 19.31 this is the sales value for one hour this is the total sales value that i have earned for one hour now can you tell me the profit profit per hour now out of this sales value we have two components one is cost and one is profit right so can you tell me the profit per hour sir it is given in the question that profit is 20 percent of my sale value so what is the sale value 19.31 and 20 percent of it will give me the profit per hour that is 3.862 this is the profit per hour okay now can you tell me profit lost profit lost for potentially productive hours 
potentially productive hours productive hours sir this 3.862 signifies that we are earning a profit of 3.862 per hour right this is rupees this is rupees 3.862 per hour now just tell me how many potentially productive hours we lost due to labor turnover read the question carefully what i am saying i am asking you how many potentially productive hours we lost due to labor turnover 1 lakh do you agree with this now you might say sir we lost 15000 hours also those were unproductive hours those were not potentially productive hours right what i am asking is what are the potentially productive hours we could have done the production during those hours that is 1 lakh but we couldn't do it but we couldn't do it so we lost some contribution what is 1 lakh hours multiplied by rupees 3.862 per hour right so we lost 1 lakh hours and we lost the profit of 3.862 per hour what is the profit that we lost for 1 lakh hours that is 3 lakh 86200 now this is a cost to the company this is a cost to the company isn't it right 3 lakh 86200 so what we calculated sir first we try to find out the profit that we are earning for every productive hour right profit that we are earning for every productive hour then we try to find out the profit that we have lost that we have lost due to the loss of potentially productive hours we this 1 lakh hours which were potentially productive but we didn't work because of the lack of employees we lost 3.862 per hour multiplied by 1 lakh hours that were lost right so uh, we have to calculate the total loss to the company due to employee turnover total loss what i am saying is calculation of calculation of total loss to the company total loss to the company okay what is going to be the total loss sir one this profit foregone right then some other cost are also given this is also the cost on account of labor turnover settlement cost recruitment cost selection cost training cost all these were associated with the labor turnover so we have a settlement cost we have a settlement cost of Forty-three thousand eight hundred and twenty. Then we have recruitment cost. What we have? We have recruitment cost. How much? Twenty-six thousand seven hundred and forty. Uh, then we have selection cost of twelve thousand seven hundred and fifty. Then we have training cost. training cost of uh, 30000 uh, training cost of yes 30490 and profit foregone that is profit lost profit foregone due to employee turnover that is 3 lakh 86200 we just calculated okay so the total loss total loss to the company is 5 lakh rupees on account of labor turnover right so this is a good question for 8 marks this is a good question for 8 marks right so with this we are done with question number 17 a very important question Liz, uh, read the question again and again try to understand the small things in the question i have tried my best to explain you the question in the best way right so guys with this we complete the chapter of labor costing yes sir very good now from the next chapter we'll be starting with our new topic we'll be starting with the third most important chapter that is overhead costing very 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 important chapter 
overhead costing will be starting in the next lecture right so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy thank you so much